What's up guys, the Cruise 51 here today, I'm sorry if my voice is feeling a bit whatever, I'm not feeling really well at the moment, but um, yeah, here's all the stuff all you need to do, for practice, got all the good resource points, there's the race goal, and we qualified P11 for the Spanish Grand Prix, this is round 5 in episode 4 of the f 16 career, so just have a quick look at that, and yeah guys, it's now time to go to the Spanish Grand Prix. What does the Spanish Grand Prix have in store for us today, I wonder? I hope we see some tight wheel-to-wheel -wheel action down the main straight, circa Mansell and Senna way back in 91, or maybe we'll have a more strategic race here on a track where overtaking can be difficult. It's a sellout crowd of 140,000 here today as we await lights out for the 730 meter sprint down to turn one of this 2.9 mile racetrack. Overtaking is challenging through these 16 corners, but there's still a lot of high speed excitement to be found, including the flat out turn three and the terrifying blind right of turn nine. Anthony Davidson is here with me today. Together we'll be taking you through all the action of this Spanish Grand Prix. It can be hard for the cars to follow each other closely here due to the dirty air coming off the car in front. So perhaps we're looking at a more strategic Grand Prix, Ant. What do you think on that? Hmm, I'm not too sure about that, Crofty. I mean, yes, as you say, it's hard to follow around here. But if you're brave on the brakes, you can get the job done down into Turn 1, which is a medium-speed corner, so you have to be committed. And looking down at this grid today, I think we're going to see one or two drivers making a move from a long way back, maybe try to force their opponent into a mistake. I don't think this is a race that's going to be purely decided in the pit stops. Aim to finish 11th or higher today. With that then, let's run through the grid order. Nico Rosberg will start his silver arrow from pole position. And it's Lewis Hamilton alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Vettel, Raikkonen, Max Verstappen, and Ricardo, Sainz, Alonso, Kvyat, and Roman Grosjean, a Haas, Button, Felipe Massa, and Hulkenberg, Bottas, Perez, Marcus Ericsson, and Jolian Palmer, Verlein, and Magnussen, Rio Harianto and Felipe Nasser starts from the back of the grid. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. So ready to go here in Catalonia. As you can see, look at the weather there. Weather looks really different, so it looks like it's going to rain. So that could be quite interesting. So we might go for a different strategy there. As you can see, our teammate Roman Grosjean did out qualify us, which is a bit but it's well kicked to the dick but um yeah as you can see now we are coming to the end of the formation lap as you all know that i do skip the formation lap now because what is it really to show in the formation lap just being your tires heating them up and i think i should see jensen button and mclaren behind us it's the two hasses me and grosjean line up right beside each other and now here we go five red lights And we're away here, we've been really hope well, we've been held for a really long time there. We've had a fantastic start. As you can see, we're flying past Grosjean, flying past Alonso, flying past Ricardo and Kimi Raikkonen too. Round the outside we go, we're gonna do our Nico Rosberg into turn one. As we've made the payoff, we're going side by side with the Ferrari as we've went swooping round the outside of him. And what a start we've had. Guys, we've went from eleventh to sixth. So fantastic start there. We're all over the back of Carlos Sainz for P5, so that could be an extra bonus for us. Strategy-wise, guys, as we go into the next turn now, all over the back of Carlos Sainz, I'll tell you the strategy in a minute, because as you can see, we've had a good run up to Rich Mix. Then the inside we go, narrowly misses Carlos Sainz's left rear tyre. As we come through to the quickest corner, 
of the circuit of Catalonia come onto the straight now. We're on the slipstream of the Toro Rosso. Down the inside we go of him into the next corner. Lock up and manage to make it stick. So that's a really good bonus for us at the moment. Didn't expect that at the start. But you guys, strategy wise, we are going to go into the medium tyres probably next because rain is coming soon and uh, it might pay off late in the race. So come through to left right now. Final corner, we're keeping up with Max Verstappen. He's on the medium tyres, remember, so he will be slower. As I'm speaking a bit louder now because I've turned my mic up. As we come onto the straight, and now we're gaining on the Red Bull of Max Verstappen. So um, we'll see if we can get a thumb. Um, once again, guys, I did say sorry if my voice is dingy because I am not well. I've got a bad cold and my throat's very sore. So, um, yeah, but that's not going to stop me from making videos since there's nothing really to do when you're not really well. As we come through, we've set a purple sector now, right behind Max Verstappen, as we're keeping up with the leaders a little bit. Remember, guys, this is in legendary difficulty. Not the hardest, but after this race, it is moving up to ultimate. As obviously I've been recording a few of the races while you're watching this, as we are moving on to ultimate difficulty in Monaco and also for Canada. Um, so just make sure to tune in for that in the next couple of days. So come through now, we are right up the back of Max Verstappen's gearbox. Not anymore, we're not, because you made a complete horse's arse of that corner which is really annoying, but um, we're in standard mix moving down to now, um, coming through to the left right chicane once again for the second time of this race. We're going to head right up to Rich Mix now, because you know how the good power of this Ferrari engine is on the Haas. Plus the upgrade member, look at this difference between the Renault engine. Here we go into the street, guys. Down into turn one we go. Passes Max Verstappen. P4 in this race, absolute beautiful, fantastic, this is brilliant. Then moving on a couple of laps later, didn't go that fantastic because look, here comes Max Verstappen. Once again, down the inside he goes into turn one. Let's look at that, we swoop and keep it round the outside. And then we're moving on to lap seven, there was a battle with the pits and congratulations team, you just cost us two positions, maybe even more because... Um, Mm -hmm. I have no I bloody dear what's going on here. I've came out in P21. No, make that last. This is this is fantastic. Oh, no we're not because we've swooped round about the outside about a billion cars. And, oh, what a surprise. Look who it is. It's our teammate, Roman Grosjean. We're going to have a fantastic battle with him here. Coming in the final. Well, the outside. We're going to try and keep it. Oh... Congratulations, Grosjean. You're just just well done. Well done. But, um, yeah, well, that was fantastic. Well done, Grosjean. You took yourself out and you almost took me out. You lost my front right end plate. Moving on now to lap 15. Nothing happened during that time except a few people pitted. So, obviously, this is going to come into our advantage now. I don't know what happened with the pit stops. That went completely horse's arse and went completely shite. So moving to turn one now, we've passed Sergio Perez for P12 now as you can see because that's a few people pitting and guess what guys, the rain is coming, there yeah, the rain is <laughs> the rain's coming guys and it is not going to be nice let me tell you that. Now moving on to lap 17 as the rain is starting to come down a little bit now as you can see we are back into the points so that's happy days for us. Now moving on a little bit later later now into the race, we're going to turn one, look at this, oh my god, we're going to go round the outside of the Red Bull of Daniel Ricciardo, or Max Verstappen should I say, as we come into the next corner now, we're back live with us moving on, we have locked up, going into the next corner, he's gave us a little nudge as Verstappen, we're going to get into the toe, we're going to make a late dive, we're not going to give up, we're going to bang tyres, we're going to do a Nico Rosberg as we're still ahead of the Dutchman, which is absolutely fantastic as we fly through the next corner. Now moving on to lap 22, I will explain everything in a minute, as um, we are now intermediates as the rain poured down, we are going round outside the Felipe Massa and we've made it stick. As you can see our strategy is absolute pish, it's paid off 
Well, thing is, I pitied and uh, well too early. I didn't even want to show you how bad it was. Um, the pitied too early, and yeah, this is how it happened. I lost about fifteen seconds, and I gained about fifteen seconds. So um, if that made sense, but that made just absolute ruiner to the race. But not anymore because we're going to the inside of the Renault of no Max Verstappen. Kevin Magnussen, as we fly past him now. As we were on to lap 25, we are behind the Renault of Julian Palmer, going on to the street now, up to Rich Mix, we fly past one of the most crappest engines in F1, the Renault engine. Not good, better than the Honda, I really don't know which is better, Renault or Honda, I prefer Honda, but um, we managed to keep ahead of Palmer there as we went off the circuit, and you can see Kimi Raikkonen's out. And, oh my god, my voice has just went right up, because we have just got a safety car. Yep, guys, we have just got a safety car. My first ever safety car since bloody two years ago. F1 2014 was the last safety car I had. Yep, first ever safety car on the career and the game as we're going moving down to lean mix so I wonder what's going to happen here it's going to be a complete bunch up of cars but I think I don't think we're really going to get to see it we might see it on the mini map but not up and close I don't think the whole field's going to get bunched up because there's cars getting lapped and it'll be an absolute nightmare but at least it slowed the pack down and as you can see this is going to help us here oh this is going to help us so good hopefully as well, this is lap 29 out of 33, so four laps remaining now. Is almost heading on to three laps, and I don't know what's going on. Is Carlos Sainz? What is he doing? Well, I don't even know, but I didn't even care what was that. What did he just did? Just braked. But now moving on, this is the next lap. Safety car is coming in. As Valtteri Bottas is out, and he's just parked it in the middle of the circuit, which is um. A bit weird, but mm, <laughs> no, don't tell me. Don't tell me he's hit the safety car. I think he's hit the safety car. <laughs> oh God, <coughs> I'm coughing. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> but um, Perez, can you go a bit closer to Saints? I don't know what he's doing. As we're getting caught behind Perez, he's caught us out. We're right up his rear diffuser, and he has caught us out. We're off the track, but. Carlos Sainz is away into the distance. Thank you, Sergio Perez. You were a fantastic starter there. As we're onto the straight now. Rich mix. Two laps to go. We're on the hunt. 4P7 now since Bottas has retired. Down into turn one we go on the Force India. And we have made it pay off as we fly into the next corner. We're moving on to the last lap now. Nothing really happened, as I did say again. Um, we tried to catch Saints. We did. We are catching him right now as we speak, but it just wasn't enough. It's just not enough to catch him, which is a bit annoying. As you can see, our tyres absolutely shredded because we've been on them for quite a while. Um, rich mix, obviously, to the end because we have plenty of fuel left after that safety car saving the fuel. So we come from the final corner, we're going to claim an excellent 8 for Haas F1 team. That was a fantastic race, guys. That What a comeback that was there. Oh, I hope you guys have enjoyed that video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe and let me know in the comments what you thought in the video. Because I'm sure enjoying making this series and I hope you guys appreciate all the work I put into them. And other things, Toto Wolf looks really happy there as normal. Nico Rosberg steps out the car. And celebrates into the way, well, celebrates, well, not into the night, but into the rain, if that makes sense. <laughs> Doing a rain dance, probably. Team looks really happy. There's Pascal Rayline, don't know why they're showing him. P19, absolute fantastic job for him, not, but Rosberg looks happy on the podium. Hamilton looks reasonable, and Vettel's just like, you know, yeah, just third place. And there's the Mercedes there, looking very nice. Rosberg stands on the top spot and holds up that first place trophy, but in real life he is not, he's an absolute cheating bastard, so um, hope you all appreciate me saying that, but I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, as I said, once again, it's um, enjoying, well it is quite good making these videos, as I did say, 
Um, as you can see there, we were P8, as we didn't finish P7, we almost got P7, but um, Julian Palmer close to the points for as well for Reynolds. Grosjean was a lap down, Bottas, DNF, and so was Raikkonen. But guys, I did say my voice is quite sore, and I hope you guys have appreciated my time for me doing this, to just to keep this series going every, like, every couple of days. As you can see, we're up to 7th in the Championship, and we've moved down to 5th in the Constructors, which is still quite good, considering this is a new team. So yeah, that was quite one of the interesting races, obviously the safety car. But guys, next race is Monaco, which um, you don't expect for not to be a safety car there. So that's going to be quite of an interesting race. Rival update, Round 2 versus me and Grosjean. Um, we seem to be losing it still. We've got the same time, but Grosjean seemed to go, well, not the fastest slap, but he's still leading it by three points. Second driver there, but don't worry, we'll become first driver soon. Guys, also, there's a crash completion coming out really soon as well on the channel, and other things. We're starting a new series. I'll give you a hint. One of them is called Wheel of Fortune, which should be coming out in the next week or a couple of days or so. So make sure to tune in and watch that. But in the meantime, I want to thank you guys for watching, and yeah, I will see you in the next one. Well, before I end, <laughs> before I end actually, it's because since I'm like really tired and other things, we're going to go for an upgrade. That was a fantastic end in there. I for completely, completely forgot about the car. Upgrading the car, going to drag the monocle, and we're going to move up over there at the bottom. Guys, if you want to see more videos, just please subscribe and hit that like button. Also follow me on Snapchat and Instagram to check out other videos. Look at the description below. But yeah, guys, I will see you in the next video.